What if you could acquire clients on autopilot and your business could easily add an extra 10K per month in the next 30 to 60 days? And you could do it all without spending a dime on ads, even if you have no social following and you're just starting out. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you can get clients on autopilot, build credibility fast, and even charge more for your services, all while spending only a couple hours per month on creating content. Now look, we've all heard the saying, content is king. But this is not another video about how you need to post on Instagram five times a day and how to take photos of your food and your dog to post or how to tweet your every thought. The truth is content creation is just a waste of time if it's not converting leads to paying clients. And most entrepreneurs don't know A, what to create and how to actually put out content that converts leads to clients and B, how to make this completely effortless. Likes and followers are fun, but are hardly ever a reflection of revenue. And what we care about here is cold, hard cash collected and impact. Both of those things solved when you follow this strategy. There's a reason big names are associated with big revenue. Their ability to attract attention consistently has built trust, credibility, and awareness but they all started somewhere. Like Jamie here of Alliance Fast Pitch. So prior to working with us, and this is a backend screenshot of their Facebook, but prior to implementing this strategy, you can see here their average reach, engagement, comments, and likes per post. So average likes were about 19, average comments they get about 20 per post, and their average reach per post was about 1,500. But once we started implementing this strategy here above, you can see right here, the jump and the spike in impressions, engagements, and comments. In fact, they got eight and a half times the reach that their posts were getting on average before, 19 times more comments and engagement, and 43 times more likes. Then there's Will who, when he came to us, he was in a pretty common situation we see quite a bit. He was pouring all of his resources into his clients' businesses, but had very little left over to build his own brand. Once we started taking the bulk of his content creation off his plate, he was able to produce more high value content for his audience while cutting his time investment by 90%. He's since been able to produce about 60% more content across his platforms while working substantially less on it and has grown his brand and awareness significantly. So let's break down the exact three-step strategy behind their success and how you can implement this in your own business. Step number one is building authority and credibility fast so you can increase sales. Step number two is in knowing the right strategy to follow so your content actually converts attention to revenue. And step number three is automating 95% of the work so that you can create your content once and gain maximum awareness, converting that awareness into revenue. So step number one, build authority and trust fast so you can increase sales. When it comes to sales, especially in today's age, when starting an online business is easier than it's ever been, whoever can get the most attention and build trust the fastest gets the sale. Generally speaking, when a prospect doesn't buy from you, trust is broken in one, two, or three places. They don't trust you, they don't trust your company, or they don't trust your service or product that you sell. If you're a digital CEO, online course creator, or you have a coaching business, your prospect's trust in you is the number one limiting factor in your ability to get clients. So simply put, having unquestioned authority as an expert in your field creates a sense of value for people which means they're willing to pay whatever if it's clear that you have the solution they need. It's the reason why we don't question a shirt or a pair of shoes with a Nike check mark on it. We know what we're getting and we'll gladly pay more for those shoes that are manufactured in the same plant as the no names. So the game becomes figuring out how to build trust fast, how to stand out and how to position yourself as the ultimate authority in your industry so that you're the only logical choice for your prospects. The good news is with the right strategy and systems in place, you can do this easier than ever, even if you're starting from zero. The old way of doing this is usually one-to-one. -one. So for example, you as the founder or business owner, or if you're lucky, your sales team, jumps on a discovery call with your lead. This lead is maybe seen a YouTube video of yours, or maybe they clicked on an ad. Leading up to the call, you send a few reminders, and then when you get on the call, you spend most of your time overcoming objections as they come up, and you hope to close them. This process is limited by how many conversations you can have each day. 
And you're usually repeating yourself, overcoming the same objections or explaining the same concepts, just trying to get that person to trust you. But what if you could qualify that lead before they get on the call with you and handle all of their objections before they even come up so that you can increase your likelihood of closing them and maximize the time you do spend on sales calls. The secret centers around a proven concept that says it takes seven hours of exposure to make big decisions. So in the sales world, your prospect needs about seven hours of time spent with you and your company for them to pull out a credit card. The new way of doing this leverages content to go from one to many. So you can create it once and let it go to work for you as it battles objections, answers common questions, and builds domain expertise for your brand. As a result, your prospect can get about three to six hours of exposure before ever getting on a call with you. So that by the time you do speak with them, they're already sold. So when you have a strategy that allows you to create high value, long form content and maximize the views you get on that content, you become the go-to expert in your field and sales become that much easier. Step number two is knowing the exact strategy to follow. So you know what content to create to convert that attention to revenue. So if you want to stop chasing prospects and stop finding yourself trying to convince the wrong person to buy only to then deal with those nightmare clients later on, then it starts with mapping out the perfect strategy. We teach our clients at Upper Hand Creative the step-by-step -step of customizing a proven strategy for their business. And the first step is understanding exactly who your perfect client is. Getting specific with defining your niche ensures that you speak only to the people that have the problem you solve and that those people actually want to solve this problem. So it saves you and your prospects time. Defining a niche and getting as specific as you possibly can also helps separate you from the competition. Otherwise, you have to compete with the masses and that means you end up competing on price. But when you can go deep on a specific industry or person, you can quickly position yourself as the expert and charge more than your competitors. So for example, coaching entrepreneurs on lead generation and paid ads is highly saturated. You become just another guru that teaches paid ads. But if you instead help fitness coaches generate leads online to scale their business, you're now a much bigger fish in a smaller pond. So once you know who you're creating content for, this will dictate what medium you create your content in and where you put it. And when I say medium, you can write, you can film videos, or you could record audio. But if your perfect client hates reading and all you do is write blog posts, you're gonna have a really hard time generating a return from your efforts. So first, determine what kind of content your perfect client wants to consume. It's still important to then determine what's going to be the easiest kind of content for you to create. And if that's not in alignment with what your perfect client wants to consume, we'll talk about how to convert that with very little effort on your part in a bit. But for example, you feel extremely comfortable talking on camera, but your perfect client would prefer to read a blog post. You'll still want to record your raw content on camera because it's easier for you. And then we can convert that video into a blog post later. Again, we're trying to cut your entire content process down into an hour or two a week. And that won't happen if you're forcing yourself to create in a medium that's not comfortable for you. Next, decide what platform to focus on. A killer content strategy that converts is a highly focused and simple one. You don't wanna be running all over the place trying to be on every single social platform that's out there. You'll be much more effective if you instead create for one platform and use the others to drive traffic back to your pillar content that lives on that main platform. But again, you can't decide which social media channel to focus on without fact factoring in your ideal client and where they like to hang out. If you're targeting real estate agents, you might not find them on TikTok, for example, but LinkedIn or maybe even YouTube would be a good platform for you to focus on. For most service-based or B2B businesses, YouTube is gonna be a huge asset for you and it's a great place to get both free and paid traffic that has high intent. Now that we know who we're creating content for, what kind of content to create and where to put it, we need to know the right content to post to actually get views and convert those views into cash money. And you guessed it, understanding your perfect client is at the heart of this part too. It allows you to have a better understanding of their customer journey. Your content needs to meet people where they're at and then push them deeper into your funnel towards a purchase. Your top of funnel content will be different from middle and bottom of funnel content in order to do this effectively. So the top of your funnel is a wide net. These are the people that don't know about you or your company. 
They likely don't even know what their problem is, but they are searching for solutions to their symptoms. So for example, you go to the doctor because you have a headache and you just want to fix your headache. You don't know yet that your headache is actually caused by dehydration or maybe an unknown food allergy. So you wouldn't start by searching for how to drink more water or how to identify a food allergy. You'd instead just want the aspirin that eliminated your headache. Your content should serve the same purpose. What symptoms does your perfect client have when they don't necessarily know what their problem is. So create the aspirin for those symptoms. Whereas the middle of your funnel is where people are problem aware. And they may also be aware of the solution your company offers. So this is where you can create things like mini courses, video sales letters, and lead magnets. Things that offer utility and how to for their problem. And then it introduces them to your company, which does this for them. You can also create content here around common objections that you and your team hear on sales calls. Then the bottom of the funnel is where people are both problem aware and they know about you and your company. All that's left is to convince them that you are trustworthy and that you can solve their problem better than any other competitor. So this is where you'll wanna focus on social proof and case studies. But no matter what part of the funnel you're focusing on, the best content should educate. So your prospect should walk away from your content having learned something valuable. Don't be afraid to give away your best stuff for free. The law of reciprocity means that people are wired to want to give back to you if they feel you gave them something. So give away the farm and people will wanna give back to you by opting in with their email address and or paying you money for more. Giving utility also separates you from your competition and establishes you as the expert in your field, building that trust quickly. The last part of creating the right strategy is verifying that we're on the right track. The old way of creating content was spending hours creating something that you think for sure people want, only to find out that your mom and your childhood best friend are the only ones that are watching your YouTube channel. And no offense to them, we love them, but they aren't the ones buying from you. So you must verify that your content topics and the headlines you use are what your audience is actually searching for before you create anything. And if no one actually wants or is already actively looking for what you're creating, then no one will see it, which means no revenue is coming in. So we show our clients at Upper Hand how to do this seamlessly with a tool such as Keywords Everywhere to verify search demand and difficulty to rank. So if I have Keywords Everywhere installed, I can go to Google and search for my keyword. For example, lead generation for fitness coaches. I can see the monthly search volume and competition. And generally speaking, if it's under a thousand searches per month, that's a good keyword for me to target because it's not too much competition that I'd get lost, but it's enough demand to verify that people are actually wanting this content. There are keywords that will be big for your industry that have millions of searches per month. We can target these with viral type content. This is the stuff that catches the attention of the masses. Things like how I lost a million dollars on Bitcoin or how I lost 200 pounds without working out. This kind of content is good to reach a wider audience and potentially bring them into your world. And platforms will usually reward you for this type of trending content with views but they aren't as qualified as niche specific keywords or how to's. So you should aim for about 20 to 30% of your content output to be viral, while the bulk of it is geared towards those thousand searches per month or less. So now that we have our strategy in place and we verified that our content topics are in demand, it's time to create. The good news is with the new way of doing this, you don't need to be super creative, a rock star on camera, or spend hours on hours creating great content. Instead, you just need a system and a team behind you that makes this process extremely easy so you can stick to it. The final step is automating 95% of your content creation process so that you can 3X your reach, your views, and your engagement to gain maximum awareness, which equals revenue. You'll want to make sure that you can create your piece of content once in the format that's easiest for you and have the rest of the work from there go to someone else. So you'll first need a way to consistently represent your brand visually. You'll need a great designer to create brand guidelines for you to follow before you start posting and have them create templates for your video frames, thumbnails, and graphic posts. Making your brand look good and being consistent with the design, the fonts, colors, and logo you use not only builds trust as people to begin to recognize you, but it also builds credibility and authority. The easiest way to do this is to get your content on film. So if you're even remotely comfortable on camera, you can either write out a script word for word or use bullet points and rip through your content once on your iPhone or camera. If you mess up, you just start over and keep it all in one take. If you're really not comfortable on camera, 
write out your script and have someone else jump on camera and film it for you. Once you have that in place, the rest of this process should be completely out of your hands. We give our clients at Upper Hand Creative a fully trained and on-demand personal creative team that takes care of all of this for them. This way, they spend only a couple hours a month on their content, but they increase their reach three times over. If you're doing this on your own, you're gonna need to find a great video editor. Beyond the structure and utility, a great video is made in the editing and good editors can take even the worst raw footage from your iPhone and make you look like a million dollar company. This person can also convert the raw form of what you created into whatever the final output needs to be. To include taking your raw footage, cutting out all mistakes, adding in transitions and B-roll to make you look like a pro, and then creating your podcast episode from that video, your YouTube video, your thumbnails, Instagram highlights and videograms, clips for your LinkedIn and Facebook and graphic quote images to post. You should also take your script and then turn it into a blog post. Repurposing this raw footage into multiple assets that are then posted across all channels, again, without you lifting a finger, drives traffic back to your main piece of content where your call to action will live. The call to action should aim to give them another piece of content or something else of value, like a strategy call with your team in exchange for their email. Once they give you their email, you now own that traffic and you no longer have to rely on the social platform that they subscribe to you on. When you repurpose into multiple assets, you leverage your time by creating content once and having assets to post for days and weeks to come after. But you also begin to create an omnipresence across the internet. People start to see you on multiple channels and you become top of mind. This is how you establish credibility fast as well as triple the views you get on your content, which means more leads to convert to sales. And if your content was created following the right strategy, it qualifies those leads properly so that you end up with only the perfect clients that you actually want to work with. So there you have it. How to create a client getting machine and scale your online business quickly, even if you don't have a following. So if you want me and my team to give you our exact strategy for taking your business to 10K plus a month, fast track your credibility, and have us take over all of your content needs, everything after you hit the record button, then click below to book a strategy call with us where we'll show you how you can implement this strategy immediately in your own business.